Good morning everyone. This is Chandrakla. Now we will go for exercise 6.9. In previous exercises, we have solved addition, subtraction and multiplication of fractions and in exercise 6.9, we will solve division. Here 5 questions are given. All the 5 questions are based on division operation. So some I will solve for you and remaining you will solve by yourself. First of all, by means divide. As we have already discussed, times means multiplication, of means multiplication. Sim in the same way, by means uh, divide. So in question number one, divide each of the following. I can do any one for you. Let it be F part. That is 2 by 3 by 4. This is our question. First of all, 2 by 3. By means divided. And 4 means 4. But below 4 we don't have anything. So we have kept here 1. For solving this division. Left hand side of the division will be kept as it is. So here it was 2 by 3. So I kept here 2 by 3. Now the division symbol must be converted into multiplication. Okay. And then the right hand side number of the division should be written in the form of its reciprocal. Reciprocal means numerator must become denominator and denominator must become numerator. You see, if you are having a fraction, you will have a numerator and you will have a denominator. The, this number, above number is known as numerator, this number is known as denominator. If you have to find out its reciprocal, then your denominator should be numerator. So, this is denominator, now we have to make it numerator. And your numerator must be denominator. Here your 4 is numerator but we have to make it denominator. That means this number becomes just opposite. Okay. If it is 4 by 1 then here after putting multiplication we will write here 1 by 4. So left hand side number we will put as it is. And right hand side number here divide will be converted into multiplication. And right hand side must be written as its reciprocal. Whatever number you are having here make write down just opposite to this one. Now, same concept, numerator into numerator will be numerator, 2 into 1 is 2 upon denominator into denominator, that is 12. Now, you can convert it into simple fraction by prime factorization that you will do by yourself. This is first method. Second method, if you can cancel out something like this, that means from this and this, from this and this. So, you see, if you will see any number which divides both 1 and 3, then that will be 1. So, if you divide both these numbers by 1, there will be no benefit. So, we will not do. But you see here, this 2 is also divisible by 2 and 4 is also divisible by 2. So, 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. Likewise, now you see 1 into 1 is 1 and 3 into 2 is 6. If you will factorize this number, then also you are going to get 1 by 6 only. So, in both the cases, the answer is same. It's your choice which method you want to apply. But if you are applying this method, please be careful. This is applicable only in the case of multiplication. Don't do it in addition and subtraction. Okay. It is applicable only in multiplication. Like this, you can cancel out the numbers. Like this, you can cancel out. Like this also, you can cancel out. Okay. But it is only in the multiplication. Now, in question number 2, such, some numbers are there uh, where we are not having denominator. Suppose d part 3 divided by 3 by 5. So, what will you do? Here you don't have denominator, so put 1. Whenever we will not have denominator, we will put 1. Divided 3 by 5. Now, to solve this, left hand side number will be as it is. Divide will be converting into multiplication. And here we have to write down reciprocal of this number. If it is 3 upon 5, then here we will write 5 upon 3. And now you will solve it by yourself. Similarly, in question number 3, both the sides are given. Left side and right side. That you will do by yourself. Question number 4, nothing is special. Uh, divisions are given. And... Uh, some numbers are given. For example, I can solve question number 4. Uh, let it be. Rest of the parts you will solve by yourself. I can solve B part. 0 divided by 3 upon 39. In the properties of the division, we have learned that if 0 is divided by any number, then the final answer will be 0. This is direct answer. If you want to calculate, you can calculate. Put here 1. 0 upon 1. Convert this divide into multiplication. Write down reciprocal of this number. 39 upon 3. Now you see. Numerator into numerator. 0 into 39 is 0. Denominator into denominator is 3. 
zero upon three will be zero. We are getting same answer. That means this is the shortcut. You can do it. And this is if you want to verify or if you want to check, you can use your this method. Similarly, here some questions are there. For example, D that is six upon thirteen divided by dash is equal to one. That we know. That means uh, we know that when two will be divided by two, then only we will get one. When three will be divided by three, then only we will get one. So six upon thirteen, when it will be divided by six upon thirteen, then you will then you will get one. Okay. Similarly, you will do rest of the parts of question number four. In question number five, you will solve everything by yourself. It is same as question number three. So I will not tell anything. Simple divisions are there. Solve it. Thank you.